Maybe you're starting a new job today, or maybe you're hoping to hear back from a prospective employer. Um, you know, you had applied, maybe you had an interview, and you're like, ah, oh, crossing your fingers. Okay, hopefully they're going to call me back. Hopefully they're going to let me know that I got the job. And then it gets, it gets awkward. Yeah, this setting the bar story is maybe for hiring managers. I don't know. I feel like yes. Now, there could be a reasonable explanation. There is one theory. Okay, well, let's get into it. What are setting the bar stories first, Kelly? Well, first of all, they are examples of what not to do or situations we hope you don't find yourself in. Yeah. So if you can manage to make it through the day without offering someone a job, then calling them a piece of crap in the same sentence, you're doing okay. Oh, wow. (laughs) Wow. That's aggressive. Yeah, so this woman in New York posted a screenshot from her phone on TikTok after she got this text about a job she applied for. Now, don't know what type of job it is, but they asked if she was still interested. Um, The text said, hey, Jasmine, I'm just following up on our paperwork appointment from Monday. Are you still interested in the position, you piece of crap? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, see, listen, I feel like I'm going to go with the theory that maybe it was like a voice to text situation in the car and like they were yelling at another driver and it got picked up in the message and then they just didn't check it and just sent it. I feel like that is a reasonable explanation for that situation. Because who in their right mind would mean to send that? Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a a voice-to-text error. And Yeah, I feel like that's probably what happened. That's what I would guess. Yeah, but, like, if you're, if you're saying, you know, hey, Siri, uh, text Jasmine, and Siri's uh-huh. like, what would you like to say? And you're like... Hey, Jasmine, I'm just following up on our paperwork appointment from Monday. Are you still interested in the position? You piece of crap! What yes, it, I think that's exactly would, how that went down. What you would do <laughs> is you would say, all right, start over. You wouldn't say send. I know. Well, maybe. Maybe it just hit send like a, like a glitch on its own. Just like, all right, message is done. Send. By the way, she did not end up taking the job. Probably. That's understandable. Have you ever made an error like that with someone, either by text or, um, I mean, it's, I, I remember when I was a, uh, I, I was like interviewing for a job. It was a long time ago. Um, but it was up in, yeah, uh, it was, it was up near Notre Dame, I think. Oh, was it? What, what's that My area? Stopping grounds? What's South that? Bend? South Bend, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's that city called? South Bend. But the program director had a gender non-specific name, and I assumed incorrectly Uh-oh. that it was a man. Uh-oh. And that uh, that didn't play well into... Oh, she got offended? Uh, actually, she didn't. She was actually pretty cool about it. She's like, it's okay. I get it all the time. But I also didn't end up getting the job either. So oh, wow. <laughs> it was like, it was I mean, those- I bet that's the plight of Chris's and Pat's and Sam's mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. All Air- could go either way. Right, exactly, exactly. Just how awkward is that, though? Or if you hit send on a text, and isn't there isn't there a company, or isn't Apple maybe even, uh, working on retracting text messages before the other person has read them? But, how, well, so, yeah, I was so going to say, that's the whole key on whether they, because sometimes you can read them real quick. Yeah, so you know, in Google, when in Gmail, you hit send on an email, you have like three seconds to undo it. Oh, you better immediately know. And you so, need that back. and so you're like, oh, oh, and, and I've done that before. Like, like I'll hit send, and I'm like, oh, dang, I forgot to add this. And so I'll hit undo, and then I'll go back and I'll retype, and then I'll hit send again, and no harm, no foul, right? I panic, and I don't know if I can like do the clicking fast enough to be like, oh no, oh hey, oh, what do I do? What do but, I click? But like hitting hitting send on a text, and you just oh. see it sitting there unread, and you're like, I just want to take it back. I just yeah. want to take it back. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, by the like, way, don't read that. Like, like, grab it, grab it. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. gosh. That was meant for someone else. That was meant for someone else. That was yeah. meant for Fortunately, else. I don't send too many, you know, controversial texts or something that I would regret. So you one time texted that you love me. I thought that was Yeah, nice. I thought I thought I was texting my wife. And obviously, I was texting 
my work wife, and uh-huh. it was and not... I responded, I love you too. <laughs> oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> and it was only then that I realized, I was like, oh, I sent that to Kelly. All right, well, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> anyway, setting the bar, if you can manage to make it through the day without offering someone a job and then literally calling them a piece of crap in the same sentence, you're doing okay. <laughs> That's insane. I know. Are you going to take the position, you piece of crap? <laughs> yeah. So are you going to do it or what? And you're like, oh, gosh, I was okay. bullied into, into taking the position. I don't know. Will you not call me that again? <laughs>